Hey guys, it's Denise here, NOLA Collectibles, and welcome to my channel. I'm here today to do a Thread Up unboxing. Yes, super, super excited. I did one last time as well. This one's a little different. This is the $44, 15 pieces of jewelry supposedly curated, and I believe this came from the new Sewanee, Georgia distribution center that Thread Up just opened. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Denise. I do all kinds of jewelry unboxings, unbaggings. I do thrift store hauls, estate sale hauls, all that good stuff. Totally focused on jewelry. I'm a part-time eBay reseller. My eBay store name is NOLA Collectibles, so go check it out if you get a chance. And I'm a jewelry enthusiast. I love everything jewelry. I love watching jewelry content on YouTube. I love talking about jewelry, shopping for jewelry. We're here. We're all about jewelry. So let's get right into it because I'm so excited. We haven't had one of these boxes for quite a bit. And a lot of people ask, like, how do, how do they acquire, how do you acquire, like, a thread up box? There's no rhyme or reason as to when they become available. They just magically and suddenly appear on the thread up rescues website. And if you happen to have a good timing, then you snatch one up. <laughs> um, and I think it's because the, the reason why they're so hard to get is because uh, thread up they they take jewelry they'll take jewelry in when you send your your closet clean out but they don't sell jewelry anymore so i think they don't have the type of stock that they once did because these boxes were very regularly available um in the past okay so let's go i don't know let's pick one of these and let's see where we're at these are really nicely wrapped um really nice in the bubble wrap let's go right here and see what we got Really, I mean, this is like super carefully, beautifully wrapped. I mean, look at this like paper. I've never gotten a, a rescue box from ThreadUp that's looked like this. So that's awesome. And so here's what we got in our first little baggie here. We have a few items. Let's start. Let's start with this. I think I know what this is. It's looking like a Lily Pulitzer. Yeah, so this is just a really big, pretty gold tone. Looking for the signature. Oh, there it is. It's right there on the side. Really pretty Lily Pulitzer bangle bracelet. And this is really wide. You can see here. It's pr And it's pretty. It's got one of the signature Lily floral prints on it. And all of those colors you associate with Palm Beach, the pinks and the yellows and the blues. And so super signature Lily Pulitzer. And this is really pretty. Uh, it's in very good condition. And, you know, I... If like you know, I'm surprised lately that Lily Pulitzer doesn't seem to be moving as quickly as it once as it once did. I guess people are just not as interested in the brand as they would as they were. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's seasonal. You know, not quite sure. But you know, this is expensive. It was probably like 65 bucks or you know, maybe even more at retail when it was first purchased. Here we have like um just this like pink leather with a faceted rhinestone uh, bracelet here and this one does look like it's seen better days. <laughs> it's got definitely got wear to it and I'm not seeing kind of any maker's mark or any kind of branding on there so we have that and then here we have something and this one says skinny by Jessica Billiot I think. And this just looks like a gold tone chain link bracelet here. And it has the oversized lobster claw clasp. And that guy is looking like that. So that one's not in bad condition. It's in pretty decent condition. And um, yeah, let's see what it looks like on. Can I just slide this on? Yeah, I can. It's it's like, um, let's say it's like probably like an eight inch. And so like that's that's kind of like what it's looking like there. So it's a, like, a, like a chunky, fun kind of with the woven leather. And that's definitely a fun little layering piece. Um, you know me, I love my jewelry. I always talk about my jewelry. So my jewelry for today, I have this um, vintage sterling silver um, and marcasite bracelet here, mid-century modern. Really, really beautiful. I love this. It's got the safety chain on the back. I'm all about it. And then I paired it with just a more modern sterling silver leaf ring here and I just like this because this is like a very kind of like sculptural um, piece of jewelry right here you can see it, it goes off of the side of the finger and I think it just goes nicely because we are dealing with some organic shapes there so that's my those are my jewelry picks for today both of them are available in my eBay store NOLA collectibles if you might be interested they're both I'm so surprised that I still have this bracelet because like I said, I love it. I think it's gorgeous and it's in excellent condition. I'm surprised it's still available. Um, let's see what else we got here. So I have this little polka dot baggie and in here is looking like kind of a, um, not. I don't think this is sterling silver, but it is silver tone. 
Well, maybe it is sterling silver. Um, hmm. And it's kind of, this is definitely vintage. Uh, we were just talking about safety clasps. This one has a, a safety chain on there as well. And it's pretty. It's kind of almost like a repoussé style. Um, is not, but has that kind of look to it. I like it. It's very romantic. It looks, um, I don't know, like Elizabethan, Victorian. It just has that vibe, you know, really pretty. Ooh, you know what? This is gonna, <laughs> this will look cute probably with my bracelet that I'm wearing right now. Let's, let's see. I like it. It is very pretty. Yeah, and so easy to put on these guys too. And it's like the perfect size. Oh, it's cute. I like it. Very, very pretty. Just scrolling, floral. Um, like I said, just seems kind of like very romantic to me. And um, like I said, very easy to put on because it's got that um, almost like the box clasp. And it's bangle style. It's not too large. It's like swimming on your wrist. It's really, really lovely. Now let's see if I can get it off. <laughs> might have to stay on me forever okay guys that will just stay on for the rest of the video <laughs> that's a good thing i like it <laughs> also in that little bag is this right here and this is like a silver tone bracelet kind of looking brighton style but i don't think that it is brighton this is premier designs okay so this is um in very good condition it's got that two-tone metal look i mean it definitely looks like brighton right when you see this very reminiscent of that like woven chain, that wheat chain look, and then the two-tone metals, and um, that's in very, very good condition. So uh, we've got a Premier Designs bracelet there. I, you know, I was not as familiar with Premier Designs. Um, I think they're from Texas originally. It is a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, sales brand, so kind of similar to like a Tupperware sales model, model or a Sarah Coventry sales model. Um, so people sell within their network of friends and family and that type of thing. So I have, I'm going into this little baggie right here too. And I have a Kate Spade pouch, which is always a good sign, I think. And I have, I love these little bags, so cute. So let's look in the Kate Spade first. And we have, I love that they included the bag. Okay, so cute. We have a pair of Kate Spade earrings. And so brand new on the card little crystal um with a pearl drop so really really cute i like those a whole lot and they're in perfect beautiful brand new condition so yeah that's a good that's a good one right there we'll put that little dude right there let's get them on camera cute very cute very nice i like the kate spade and then here we have a little um organza bag just filled with all kinds of goodies let's check it out of course now i'm like clinking around <laughs> with this bracelet on um so here we have a little chico's pair of heart dangle earrings two-tone metal on card original retail twenty dollars and fifty cents and um looks like it might have been on sale for 14.99 and these are nice very nice like you know great little basics uh, again with the two-tone metal kind of goes nicely with this premier designs bracelet so that's nice we have what looks like okay this is like a stainless steel ring and this <laughs> this is cool it's kind of like a bird's claw um let's see or a dinosaur claw velociraptor i'm not sure <laughs> it could be any of those things but it's cool i you, you know um you know maybe it's you know it's very daenerys targaryen should i say Right? Can't you tell, can't you see Daenerys wearing this? I totally can. It's cool. I like it. Looked silver, but it's marked stainless steel. I think this is like a neat little ring. So yeah, you know, that's also good too for your dragons if you are a dragon lover. Very nice, cute, very cute, and very good condition. Great, awesome. And then I have a pair of these are kind of. Um, these are also two-tone. These actually look very Kendra Scott to me. You know how she does this like Al Alhambra kind of shape with her earrings. And I actually, I think I like these even more because they seem to have kind of almost like a marcasite or foam marcasite look. Or you know what? These look like two Stella and Dot to me. I feel like I've seen similar styles by Stella and Dot. And that's what the back looks like. These are nice. So I actually... <laughs> I, you know, I'm like, we're wearing our masks. We're all wearing our masks. And so I actually had a pair of earrings like this on the other day and I lost one. I was so sad. It's just, 
trying to be cute with the mask on and yeah I end up losing my earrings so don't do that <laughs> it's tragic tragedy um, okay, and so here we have a, what looks like a sterling silver and natural stone ring. This is beautiful, very substantial, excellent condition. And this one just says, um, a, it looks like it's ATI ER Mexico. So Mexico, Mexican sterling. Ooh, this is a big boy. This is nice. Look at that. Looks gorgeous, right? Look at the silver. Very pretty. And um, looks like a jasper to me, like a red jasper stone. I love the elongated shape. I'm always into like elongated shapes on your hand. And that's a big boy too. It's a really like sizable stone. So very, very nice. That's a beautiful ring. Awesome. That's exciting. I'm like loving this box. This is really nice. You know, um, one of... Um, my view is Karen Hopper. She's also a member of the Texas Gal Jewelry Lovers Facebook group. She like tipped me to this. She was like, hey, they're available. Go get them. So she sent me a message. So Karen, I appreciate you. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> um, and you said you had luck with this with this thread up distribution center, which I think is close by to you. So again, thank you for tipping me off on there. So far, so good. I'm loving this box. Another Ziploc, another ba um, baggie here. And I think it's gotten like a little crowded. So let me see, let me just open up and see what we've got here. And I think this is everything. So yeah, it's, you know, it's supposed to be 15 pieces. I feel like we've already exceeded that. Move all of these goodies. And here we have this uh, silver tone long chain here with purple and white kind of geometric um, detail. And this one is Leah Sophia. So that's a really nice looking Leah Sophia necklace, silver tone with the purple and the white enamel, great for layering. So we have a nice, you know, nice decent condition Leah Sophia necklace. And I believe Leah Sophia was also peer to peer marketing model. Um, but now I think they're out of business. You tell me if that's, I think if I remember correctly, I believe that's the case. So this is just looking like a gun metal kind of, um, you know, linked chain. And then we have this line of rhinestones in the center in pastel colors, nice mint and a, a pretty like, you know, yellow. And then we've got the gun metal color up here too. And uh, this doesn't appear to have any kind of maker on it, but it does, it is in very, very good condition, like very nice, no wear on it. So that's great. And then also in there was this double strand of uh, faux pearls. And this one also doesn't seem to have any kind of uh, maker's mark on there, but nice and shiny in very good condition and with a nice oversized spring ring clasp, which I think is great because it makes it very easy to put it on and off, take it off. So we had that, that was in there as well. And then I have another one of these. So cute that they did this. I am so impressed by that. Like I said, I've never gotten anything so beautifully packed, packaged from a thread up like res rescue. Okay, we have a couple of pieces here. I think that's everything. Yeah, okay, so there's just a silver tone necklace there in there. And this one is um, a little butterfly. It's like a 3D dimensional a butterfly pendant on a chain and this has an LC on it which is looking I, I believe that this is Lauren Conrad not Liz Claiborne the LC this way also I mean it's a more kind of like contemporary style too so I was you know tell people when you're looking to identify jewelry brands you want to take in the context of the style of the jewelry and so this to me just looks more Lauren Conrad than it does Liz Claiborne so we have um, a very, very long, even, and it has the extension on the end of it, twisted chain, uh, Lauren Conrad piece of jewelry right there, a necklace. That's cute. Very cute. And then finally, you know, this was a shorty because this is the thread up, right? 15 piece. I have a box here and it says Amy Margaret. Don't know who that is. Uh, in here though, this is what it looks like. And there's this big kind of wooden vanity card that says hashtag Amy Margaret and his stretch bracelet on there, stretch. Yep, and it seems to be possibly, it looks maybe natural stone. 
think these are painted. I think it's made to, to look like maybe it's some kind of faceted bead and then it looks like it's painted to look like natural stone. So yeah, I'm not, like I said, I'm not familiar with Amy Margaret. This to me is looking like something maybe that would have came out of a subscription box, you know, like a birch box or something like that. Cause or one of the lifestyle ones, like a Fab Fit Fun, because they always include some kind of jewelry sometimes in there, or an accessory, or maybe like the Rachel Zoe, Zoe box of style. That's kind of like what that's looking like to me, like where they put an introductory piece of jewelry to, um, you know, gain, gain more visibility to their brand. So that's it, folks. That's what we have. This was great. Let's see how many pieces won. Got the faux pearls, two. We've got this like gunmetal, three. We've got the Leah Sophia necklace, four. This beautiful sterling silver ring, five. The stainless steel claw ring, six. With the um, Lauren Conrad, seven. This one, eight. These earrings, nine. The Premier Designs, 10. This unknown, 11. Chico's, 12. Kate Spade, 13. And Lily Pulitzer 14, and then the bracelet I can't I can't get off that I like a lot <laughs> 15. So it's actually right on the money. Um, so yeah, I, I like this box. I think it's I think it's great. I think I've got some really good items here that I I think I can resell. So um, yeah, really cute. And like I said, not familiar with this Amy Margaret brand, but I think the you know the best item in the lot here is definitely the sterling silver and jasper ring. And and the Lily Pulitzer, the Kate Spade earrings will definitely sell. Always a market for Kate Spade. I'll have to do a little bit more research on this brand just to see what this is all about. And yeah, really cute stuff, you guys. The, the bracelet, again, that I can't get off, but I soon will, hopefully. <laughs> these, are, these are my favorites. The, this is the grouping right here. Let me know what you think. Um, I think this one was definitely fun. I enjoyed it. It had a good mix of brands. Some of it, yeah, unbrand, unbranded, so some of it branded, but I think overall really nice quality of wearable or sellable goods. Uh, look, it just it just came off, so that's good. Um, so yeah, I like it. Let me know what your thoughts are, you guys. This was a shorty. I appreciate you for tuning in and uh, coming on this thread up journey with me. It's always fun to see what we get out of thread up. If you uh, if you like this kind of content, give me a like on the way out. Give me a subscribe. I really appreciate you all, and I hope you have a fabulous rest of your weekend. Take care, guys.